It was a conference that drew representatives and delegations from more than a hundred countries around the world, all proud to be numbered among the friends of the Syrian people. French President Francois Hollande setting the mood for the one-day meeting with an impassioned call for more sanctions against the Assad government. La France a pris avec ses partenaires européens France with its European partners, has taken important sanctions against the Syrian regime at the United Nations. With you, our joint efforts, we need a decision by the General Assembly to have important tools to deny the absurd lies of Bashar al-Assad and to re-establish the reality of the facts. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton with tough words for Russia and China. I don't think Russia and China believe they are paying any price at all nothing at all for standing up on behalf of the Assad regime. The only way that will change is if every nation represented here directly and urgently makes it clear that Russia and China will pay a price. And for the Syrian opposition gathered here in Paris, some welcome news on Friday. A high-profile general in the Republican Guard and a close personal friend of President Assad has deserted and left the country. General Klaas is thought to be travelling to Paris to join other members of his family. It turns out that the opposition is making progress on the ground and the same day as we learn of defections, it signifies that the close entourage of Bashar al-Assad is starting to understand that it is obviously unsustainable. The conference in Paris has been given added urgency with the latest reports coming out of Syria. UN monitors on the ground warning that violence has now reached unprecedented levels and they can no longer carry out their mission. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera, Paris.